There it goes, Kirby. Oh. I can talk loud enough. All right. How you guys doing? Yeah. Yeah. Great. <laughs> <laughs> this is a slightly thinner crowd than the last uh, last time we did a panel here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think last time we did a panel there was thousands. 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 It was a waiting list. Yeah. It was great. The Pope was here. It was big, so cool. He's a big fan of go. Yeah, we were like, Pope Francis. He's like, no, no, Pope Frankie. <laughs> so Pope Frankie, he's a good guy. Uh, so you know us. We know you. We're old friends. You, you want, you, let's, just, let's just have a convo. We'll have a conversation. What did you guys have for breakfast? Nothing! Pop tarts! Apple sauce! Apple sauce! Apple sauce. Apple sauce. Apple sauce. Apple sauce. Most important meal of the day! Come on! Straight to lunch! Vodka <laughs> and the tears of my enemies. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Yes, you have a question. Yes. Um, I, what, what, I'm probably going to support both of you, but what, what was your favorite uh, episode from Inuyasha's final act? I said this yesterday, and I said it was the one with me and you and there was a guy and thing and I touched the bum and that was a great night. <laughs> <laughs> that was the <laughs> best episode uh, ever. Uh, <laughs> laughing, uh, I liked it when I fought another bad guy and then Kagome was all like, Yoshi! I was like, oh, Kagome. <laughs> Moroku was like, hey, what's up, Songo? Can I have some of that croissant? And then she's like, no, it's a boomerang. <laughs> then, then he was like, <laughs> That was the best one. My favorite episode was what you got from all the sake. Woo! Yeah! You said boy. Oh, I actually sent you a text message. Um, you did, out of nowhere. <laughs> My, uh, I just booked a role playing. Uh, they said they want to see you for this character. And I looked at the character and it was the, the, the leading, dashing guy that's so handsome that handsome looks stupid next to him. And I'm like, oh. I'm not going to book that role. I'm not looking at that role. They go, oh, my mistake. They want to see you for the town drunk. I'm like, yes. <laughs> yes. And, and I was texting you at the same time. And I'm like, town drunk. I'm going to go do some research right now. And he got this random text message like, oh, that's Kirby. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. Just yeah. be safe, bud. Just be safe. Just be safe. Uh, yeah, no, I, the final act, I, uh, I liked it when, um, I mean, I didn't like it, but we was, I was talking about it earlier today, the whole sort of that moment when he finally says goodbye to, uh, to Kikyo. Oh. Yeah. You know, just because of the, the, the moment. Not because I'm happy that, you know, they were like, peace, but just because, the, you know, the moment was a nice moment kind of thing, from an actor's perspective. Wait, way to bring down the room, right? <laughs> yeah, that was my favorite part, too. You know, my favorite part in Bambi is when the mom dies. <laughs> my favorite part in Old Yeller is when he has to shoot the dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, go ahead, next question. And action. Don't make me start to pick. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. That's okay. not the question. Is there a wedding? Is there a wedding? Can can you, listen, we can't marry any more of you Americans to take you up to Canada, okay? Yes. We can't do it anymore. I'm married to 57 people out of the goodness of my heart. Listen, just because I'm dressed the part. I understand. I get it. Yes, I want to be eating extra spices, but that's. Good. Awesome. But you're not in pillow form. <laughs> You don't know the oh, never mind. I don't know the No, well uh, there's all these young gentlemen who have you know they've taken waifus, but they're you know, they're images of ladies on pillows. <laughs> really? Yeah. It's a whole I'm thing. not the dealers. You I'm are the absolutely the dealers. But I just want to say well, that it's person's an honor idiot. to meet both. Nice to meet you. Um, and I wanna get an autograph from you and not you, but you. Oh. 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 Wow. You should run for office. <laughs> There's another guy doing about the same. <laughs> I understand. It's fine. My autographs are really expensive. Yes. You're on a roll. Why not finish up strong? <laughs> oh, good. My mom is actually a huge fan of the show. 
Uh huh. <laughs> and I was like, you say I'm perfect, so I'm not a month late and I didn't buy her gifts. So. Wow! <laughs> I'm batting a thousand! <laughs> You ready? All right. Happy birthday, Mom. <laughs> what? She's not your mom. <laughs> you don't know that. <laughs> You're right. I guess. Um, okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. That was funny. Hi. Yeah, so it's a hard act to follow, but try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, trust me. I'm going to do my best. Okay. So, uh, Tim Yasha was a very influential anime to me. It was very helpful to me when I grew up in middle school. And sure. And the reason I got into Inuyasha was because of my best friend. And he did this because he used to have a webcomic called The Rogues Gallery, which was basically a bunch of his original characters interacting with, you know, famous anime and video game characters. Cool. Uh, I'm, so here's what I'm uh, asking. Would you like to see the wonderful things that he's done to Inuyasha and Moroku over the years? Well, it's hard to say no. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and he also did a couple things to Rama as well. So, reactions in the Fantastic, guys. Fantastic. You might have done time. Uh, <laughs> nice. There you go. Didn't bring my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, oh, this is a different. I thought we were going to play a scene. No, no, you no, no. just go ahead and read them. Refresh my memory, you were created by Rubico Takashi, right? Lettuce, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and she's the same woman that created Rama One Half, right? What's your point, kid? What's your point, kid? And he punches you in the face. No, he he's covers me with water. Oh, cover me with water. Now I'm going to turn into a girl. Uh, <laughs> Please, the rumors are true. I'm going to kill you. I'm gonna kill you! Because now I'm a female. <laughs> this, this is how we actually record it, and he actually fell like that. <laughs> Tell me what to say, and I say it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's your call? Sling Blade? <laughs> sling Blade? Yes, it's Sling Blade. Sling Blade! <laughs> Wouldn't that be so great? Win this car. I always think all my moves are awesome in uh, Inuyasha, because as, we, as he learned them as a young dude, they became increasingly more obsolete as the show moved on, right? So he like learned Blades of Blood and Wind Scar, and it was like those were ass-kicking, awesome moments. And then as he moved forward, he kept fighting new and better bad guys, and so, effectively. <laughs> and uh, and those weren't as effective anymore. And he started every battle with Wind Scar. And no one was stopped. He like, at, and so he then he moved up to like the like just start with the best new move. Yeah. <laughs> Why are we gonna waste our? It's like an episode of House where he like picks the stupid diagnosis first and finally figures it out just in time. Yeah. I just start with the and, and in terms of moves, the best move. What's your favorite move? I'm gonna tell you what mine is. So just you shush up. <laughs> Adam and Barrage. Woo! And I'm going to tell you why. Because it's the best grammatical move. Not only is he barraging you, he's doing it adamantly. <laughs> <laughs> Conjunctive barrage. <laughs> With some regret hit. <laughs> what, did you get, what did you guys think? I thought they were brilliant. I think that's funny. I think that, uh, did he like draw these? Yeah, no. he, he drew them. The webcomic sadly does not exist anymore, but... Uh, but yeah, all the hard evidence of the... Well, that's, that's not even scratching the tip of the ice cork. I think that's awesome. The highlights. These are know, funny. Especially the ones where he turned Inuyasha into a woman. Sure. And I, then, yeah. And then as you can see in there, Heroku stumbles upon him and tries to hit on her. I ship it. Right. <laughs> not surprising. We're winning cartoon room. Yeah, sure. And then, that one, it. and then that one, Heroku tries to hit on Bill Dandy and he gets kicked in the nuts for it. <laughs> and she do. And yes, sir. Is there any time in the voice acting booth, this is both of you, uh, that there's a line that there was supposed to be dramatic or something, but you just couldn't get past it because it was funny or something? Or Every something? day. <laughs> Every day. And, and especially the, and the younger, the demographic of the show, somehow the filthier the lines all seem to sound. <laughs> Even when they're written the way they're supposed to write them, you just can't stop giggling because 
they use a word that we would use colloquially, but they use it in the proper sense, and then it sort of becomes dirty, and it's hilarious, and then you can't get past it, and you're recording something for a preschool audience, and you're just like, you're dying laughing yeah. all the time. So, nobody's in love with me, right? <laughs> yes, everyone, you're in love with them all. I'm in love with them. There was one time when we were riding Kilala, and I jump off, and my line's supposed to be, supposed to be, come on, we have to find E to the Asha. And I said, come on, how about a little sexy time? <laughs> and then she jumps off, and I'm like, yes! <laughs> the director was laughing, everybody was laughing. It was weird. We actually had one that was in an outtakes about Hoffa, Jimmy Hoffa. Oh, really? Yeah, you had lived something about, I found where they buried Jimmy Hoffa. <laughs> and they played it for me, and then I ad libbed something, and then they put it in the outtakes for, uh, oh, for the final, yeah, oh. the, of the, the last batch of the release of the first uh, uh, bunch before before the final act yeah i've also found too that if you're short on flaps you can always make it fit by just adding the word bitch at the end yeah. <laughs> because there's one more flat bitch and then it just always falls yeah. into place i don't know how we're gonna do this bitch right <laughs> it's fantastic or if you listen really carefully to anime sometimes uh you can tell when they've been short on a line because they'll add the character's name to it oh yeah and so when you're like, how come they keep saying the guy's name? Well, that's because they were short on that line, I bet you. Because no one says it in real life. Hey, Kirby, how's it going today, Kirby? Great, Kirby. Remember that time, Kirby, when we uh, fell out that Thursday? I do, Kirby? Richard. That was very awesome, Richard. Thank you, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Let's take someone from this side of the room. Not question-wise, just, just take just, them just, and just disappear. Just the good-looking ones. All right, yes. Yeah. Yes. Been, yeah. Uh, no, you. <laughs> you your hand. I love how you put that. Okay. <laughs> Um, when you're uh, recording for shows, so you're bringing props in there. With, they're bringing uh, props in there with you to do all the fight scenes, or you just have to stand there. To talk? No, we get in trouble for beating up the microphones. <laughs> so you're bringing a giant sword. <laughs> Don't that? judge me, Carl. That's a three thousand dollar microphone. I'm sorry. Actually, I'm sorry. I don't know if the microphone's broken. Um, no. But that's not a bad idea, and I'm going to introduce that. <laughs> and then Richard was fine. Fantastic. And then Richard, yeah, went to jail. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, for you guys, when you're doing a show like Inuyasha, because um, mm -hmm. you guys did a dub of it, right? Yes. Is it hard coming in afterwards and doing a dub rather than doing something that's English in the first place? Uh, I wouldn't say hard. I mean, it's like, you know, matching flaps is always sort of a tricky thing to kind of get your head around when you start, and then you get good at it, and then you kind of fly along, and it's good, and then you get to know your characters, and everything kind of falls into place. Uh, technically, it's more challenging, um, but and to do prelay is excellent because you're afforded the opportunity to work with your friends, and record together, and ad-lib, and work off of each other. But, I, I, I mean, I wouldn't say that it's difficult uh, to come in and dub it after the fact. No, no, but it's it, it's more fun to do prelay for sure, um, and and pays better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, this the, the ability to be able to work with people and work off of people is a huge deal. Yeah. Like in the previous panel, people were talking about. Well, it's nice to have some people have recorded early, you know, before you, and then you go in and you can hear what they're doing, and then you can sort of work with that. Like with Inuyasha, I really never got that chance because they normally bring in. The, the bigger characters first to, because there's more dialogue and they want to make sure all that fits and is in place and then so you can kind of work around that a little I, bit. I think you always recorded first actually yeah. most of the time. It was like, yeah. yeah, it was yeah. between me and you know and, and uh, Monica and then Kira. Um, yeah. I, I was asked earlier uh, why Monica was no longer doing it after a certain period. Went to prison. <laughs> <laughs> that was my answer! Yeah. Yeah. She went to prison. Yeah. She, you know those tags on mattresses that say do not remove? <laughs> Yeah. Rebel! Yeah. 25 years. We're serious about the mattress stuff Thanks. in Canada. Hi, <laughs> Cool. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I just wanted to ask uh, for the two of you, which was your favorite funny episode of Inuyasha to do? Like the one where Shippo had that little rival girl or the, <laughs> the episode where Inuyasha had his hand stuck to a rock? <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> There's that chibi one, too, where Inuyasha sort of... They become sort of like little chibi versions of themselves for a short period of time, which was hilarious. And then Drunk Inuyasha is always funny. <laughs> which was your favorite drunk? Oh, God. Um, I mean, those are the top two ones I can think of. Also, the one where they had to help 
broke his master because they thought he was going to die. And also my favorite. Yeah. And they kept on going, oh, maybe I'll drink some sake. You're already drinking sake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I improved that line. <laughs> Good. Yes, sir. Uh, what was some of your favorite lines to do from X-Men Evolution? Oh. <laughs> hey, stay in the lane. Um, <laughs> Well, I, uh, okay, so Quicksilver was, Quick, all of Quicksilver's lines were fun because they were just super fast. Everything we said super fast. But then there was that one record, you're not gonna remember this, but I remember this because it was so awkward. There was one record where I had one line and they're like, well, let's just record you out and then you don't have to stay for the whole thing and then you can go and have fun and, you know, prance or something. <laughs> um, and uh, the line was, uh, hey sis, you look like you could use a hand talking to Wanda, which is a really easy line. Hey sis, you look like you just hand. Okay, fine. And then you gotta do it fast. So just for fun now, as an experiment, say as quickly as you can, hey sis, you look like you could use a hand. Go ahead. Fast! No, fast. Fast. That's a hard friggin' line to say fast. Hey sis, you look like you could use a hand. I'm sorry, what was that middle part where you got drunk? <laughs> <laughs> and I had I did it like fifteen times. They're like, okay, I can. He says you look like you use a hand. No. He says you look like and it was just forever. They're like, let's just record Richard out. It'll be quick. Twenty minutes later. Or SpongeBob says twenty minutes later. <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. That was my least favorite line to record. My um, mine is not so much the line per se as. Uh, uh, after 10 years of working as an actor and doing voices and stuff, my parents had never actually seen what I do except for the finished product. And they came to visit uh, in our city of Vancouver because they live in another province. Uh, and I had to do pickup lines for X-Men. So I called the studio to see if it was okay if I brought my parents in. Uh, and I'd been shopping the day before and I just bought a brand new stylish little shirt. And I wanted to look good because if you don't look good, your parents are like, you're not working and you're like living like a skin. <laughs> so I put on this nice fancy shirt and I went to the studio to record. Uh, and it was a scene where me and my brother were in the ocean and we were drowning. And so there was a lot of chaos. I'm like, come on, we gotta stay together. Try to grab that raft. And as I was doing this, all you could hear from my shirt was shh, 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 shh. And they're like, doesn't matter what you do, we just keep hearing the shirt. They're like, you're gonna have to record with your shirt off. <laughs> but my parents were sitting in the studio and I'm like, they don't make me do this all the time. I promise. And I literally had to take my shirt off and record with their shirt on. <laughs> True story. That's oh, hilarious. Yeah. That's never happened to me before. <laughs> <laughs> They've just rescheduled. <laughs> loud clothing. Or they just they put the special no loud clothing filter on. They didn't do that for you? They put on the extra loud filter. Man, that, those underpants are really loud. <laughs> You can hear them right through that. <laughs> it's usually my pants are too loud. <laughs> All right. Back to the side. Nice. Yes? Okay, I know that Koga was supposed to be here, but Inesha, how do you feel that Koga is not here? Um, I'm totally fine with Koga. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think would have happened if you didn't show up? I kick his ass. <laughs> he wears a fur diaper. <laughs> You want to imagine the smell on that thing? Yeah. It's not even dead. It's gonna walk away. It's gonna be reanimated and walk away. It's got its own spin off. Yeah, it's like, I gotta get out of here. Koga like Oni sandwiches. Yeah. Koga. What an idiot. Yeah. Got his, like, Olivia Newton John band in. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> yes, and then yes. And then no. yes. Think of something. Hurry up. How do you develop a character? Just by how it looks, or does a the director give you like a you know. I just keep making stupid noises until they go, that's it! That's it! <laughs> <laughs> English come out of that with that sound perfect. Perfect. Uh, well, most of the time there's a you know there's a character description and then there's a picture. There's like they include a little drawing and then you look at the drawing and you look at the you know you read the description and then sometimes they'll have some references you know like think SpongeBob meets you know the 
Goldilocks. Um, yeah. So it kind of puts it in a range. Oh, they make pop culture references, and they sort of get an idea. So you have to sort of sort of stay current of some of the shows that are out there. Um, you go to YouTube a lot, and you look. Yeah. I actually had an audition for a character, and they said, "We're thinking leading man. Think Jason Statham and Captain Kirk. Were there two <laughs> examples?" I can't see how those two could have yeah. been in any way just related. With an English accent and he stops every five words. Right. <laughs> just not certain about <laughs> the color. <laughs> Nail it! Yeah. Nail it! Um, and a lot of the times, too, the, the uh, people putting it together and uh, the director um, will listen to the original Japanese voice and go, okay, if we want to stay kind of in this cadence, um, I think Richard would be great for that. I think Scott would be great for that. I don't know why Kirby is still working, but you know, let's try him for something. <laughs> it's, kind of, it's kind of the way they do it. But. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, hi. Um, yeah. I started an all out war the last time I asked this question an hour ago. Um, glad the crowd is not here. Um, <laughs> you guys question. play Pokemon Go? Uh, no. But I think it's great. The people are getting outside. <laughs> Can I just say that, that if that's the biggest selling point for your game, <laughs> parents as a whole need to kick your kids out of the house <laughs> once in a freaking while. I'm just going to say, oh, because we, we had a game, when, we were talking about this on the way over, we had a game that, uh, that was all the rage when we were kids. Uh, that got us out of the house. It was called Your Parents Kicked Your Ass Out of the House and You Didn't We Weren't Allowed to Come Home Till Dinner. Yeah. yeah. That was Wait, how'd you that, yeah. that was awesome. We kicked the can. Yeah. yeah. I only got arrested three times. <laughs> you were on a team. Yeah. Which one? I don't there's know. Teams? <laughs> there's teams? So, there's Team Mystic, there's Team Valor, and what's the third one? Uh, instinct. Okay, there's only three teams and everybody in the world has one of these three? Yeah. And then there's, I created Team Nogia, but you know, nobody wants to join that. <laughs> this is how war starts. Yeah, yeah. FYI. Racist. You're halfway through the middle of it and people are like, what are we fighting for? I don't know. We've just always hated them. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Look at them. Yeah. Right. We have Team Christianity. That's hilarious. I don't know what team. Sure. Valor. Mystic. Yeah. Mystic. In Valor. Mystic. In Valor Stick. That's my team, baby. In Valor Stick. She just sounds like. So you like Team Lugia? <laughs> sounds like I'm gonna wind up in a basement somewhere. All right. Welcome to the world first meeting of Team Lugia. I'd like to thank my mom for all the tang. <laughs> That homeless guy for bringing that half dead raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, only, I'm the only surviving member. Uh, we've all been killed off by Team Instinct. And, uh, oh, wow. You can kill each other? <laughs> <laughs> we've been hit yes. by cars, we've been pushed off cliffs. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> <laughs> this this really is going to get out of control. We've been what if it's you outside? Out. I'm going to call it now. We've been throwing the land by promises of candy. It's, it's just really. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, Just avoid bands if I were you. We recently had a thing. Did you see this in the news? The girl at 19 years old went to go meet the 35 year old at the park at midnight to go search for. Oh, you didn't see this in the news? What? Yeah. Apparently his intentions weren't entirely Pokemon. Uh, and so he got arrested. Uh, what the hell is happening? That's horrible. Welcome to America. Okay. No, back home. Yes. No, you need to be afraid of us. You have no idea who we even are. The yeah. <laughs> two most popular sports are the most violent frigging sports you've ever seen in your life, and all we do is drink beer and sit at the border waiting for you. <laughs> That's it. 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 That's it.
They no, they got well. They, they, yeah, I mean, it's I, this. Uh, yeah, it's it's a yeah. If you haven't gone to Canada, you really should because it is a wonderful nation of have like you, have weird you discord. Deer? What's that? Have you been to Red Deer? Yes. Oh, is it like barren, like my friend up there says? I thought you weren't going to say the word says. <laughs> is it barren, like my friend up there? <laughs> wow. Like that. She's like, team balance. I <laughs> Crazy. Uh, no, it's not too barren. Red Deer's lovely. It's in Alberta. Have you ever been to Head Smashed in Buffalo Jump? That's an actual place. <laughs> yeah, you think you're violent. Have you seen the commercials they produce up there? I, I don't want to. We're awesome. The Nostalgia Critic covered several Canadian commercials. Okay, you, got, you had to think of a question, Tiny Ty. What is it? Look at her tie. It's tiny. <laughs> uh, actually, I do have a question. Okay, good. Damn it! <laughs> Uh, oh my god. It was okay. No, no, wait, wait, not the turtle. <laughs> <laughs> the actual turtle. Uh, when I was David, it was better because I just stood naked in the park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Michelangelo, okay, he was an iconic character. Uh, I'll tell you a good story about that. So, um, it was my first uh, voiceover audition um, ever. Uh, and it was Michelangelo, so I rented all the movies, and I kind of got into the voice, and went to the audition, uh, and there was eight callbacks to it. Uh, and after the fourth callback, they, the guy had told me, basically, okay, you're the guy that I want for Michelangelo. Uh, now we're going to cast all the other guys around your voice, so it can't be too similar to you. Right? So I had to go back and read with all these other characters. So nine auditions in total. And when we went in to record for the first time, we're in a big studio up in the North Shore there, the, mm -hmm. uh, and the producer flies down from L.A. This guy up from L.A. Yeah. Uh, uh, it, it's a slow man. It's up and put a slow man. So he, come, he comes up, and he's very tanned, and he's on the phone, and he's in, it's not, most, most studios, uh, yeah, in most really studios, most studios, there's a glass, the people recording are in one side, and everybody else is on the other side. This studio is one big open studio. So he's sitting there on the phone, and we're all waiting for him to finish so we can start recording. And I say my very first line, and he goes, whoa, 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 what was that? And it was my first job ever, and I looked at him, and he goes, that's the voice you're going to use? <laughs> and I'm like, uh, yeah? And the guy who hired me wasn't there. He was back in L.A. He goes, I don't like it. Change it. Is that a fire alarm? Can we get out? Is that a hurricane thing? <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! Trump just said another thing stupid. They said it a lot. Every year. Tremendous, tremendous, just tremendous. So, so he he said, I don't like it. Change your voice. Thank you. Uh, to to what? Nine auditions. I was pretty set on doing it this way, uh, and he just rode me, and it was the hardest, most difficult time. And, at the end of the record, everybody's like, you, you gotta stick around. The engineer's like, Lance hates your voice, he wants you to do something different. So I stayed there for another hour, trying to give different voices. And it was my first job, so I didn't really know what I was doing. Uh, and I had all these options, and they're like, well, we'll send these to Lance, but most likely you're gonna get fired, because <laughs> he hates your voice. Uh, and uh, the next record comes up, and Lance isn't there, he's gone back to LA. They're like, well, he hasn't said anything, so we'll just record. Uh, and we did 26 episodes with me thinking every episode, I'm, any moment now, I'm gonna get fired. Never understood it. A year later, I'm walking down the street in Toronto, which is the other side of the country, uh, and I'm walking down the street at like 10 o'clock at night, and I hear this guy yell out, hey, Michelangelo! And I turn, and it's the guy who hired me initially for Ninja Turtles. And he's sitting on a patio, and I go and I sit with him, I'm like, hey, what's going on? He's in Toronto doing a show. And so we sit down, and we're having a drink, and he goes, hey, yeah, so I heard about uh, Lance giving you a really hard time a year ago on, on Ninja Turtles. He goes, that, that, was, uh, that was pretty weird, huh? I'm like, yeah, I, I didn't know what to make of it. It was really freaking me out. He goes, yeah, it's because we got drunk the night before. Uh, uh, and he said, yeah, wouldn't it be cool if Michelangelo was a black guy? <laughs> and, 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 uh, or not the night before, before they started casting. Uh, so he thought they were going to hire a black guy. And when he saw that I wasn't a black guy, he was like, no, <laughs> not, not the right voice. 
<laughs> oh, and then this guy's drinking with me. He goes, that was pretty funny, huh? I'm like, no! <laughs> Freaking out for 26 episodes! <laughs> it was, it was, That's stressful. Yeah. I lose a lot of rolls because I'm not black enough. <laughs> I, I try, but... Yeah. Sailor. <laughs> Uh, I Wait, is this for Kirby? No. Because you're looking right at him. No, no this is for you. Oh, okay. I actually asked this, qu this question recently to Kirby yesterday, but uh -huh. I just want to know. I just want to know your answer to this. Yeah. Like, um, why are you laughing, Kirby? He's mostly drunk. <laughs> uh, well, you know, uh, Monica's story was originally the boys were going. Yeah. But then uh, she did, couldn't do it on the final act. Yeah. So Jail. <laughs> Jail. Yeah. She stole our maple syrup preserves. What are we doing? <laughs> Sit around and not put them in jail? What the hell are you talking about? Yeah, that doesn't get you out of everything. <laughs> um, no, she laughed because she was good. She had a mud wrestling team she was managing. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's called out. Uh, it, was like a, it was like a Shakespearean themed mud wrestling team called Out Down Spot. I'm joking. No, it wasn't that either. Um, she, I, I don't know why. I think, but there was a small. There was an aliens thing. She was abducted for a while. Yeah. And then when she came back, she had like a chip or something. Yeah. And then she was like, I can't do that. It was like it was a weird thing. And then she was prime minister for a while. So she, it was just like she wasn't available. Have you seen our prime minister? He's super hot. Yeah. Yes. Actually, I was just, I was just at the canteen across and these girls were yeah. talking about how in love they were with that. Uh, yeah, he's awesome. Yeah. And he's a good kisser. Oh, yeah, you do. And much. then you and that, you over there with the hand. Yes? Um, basically, you uh, summarized the circumstances that led you to get to the casting of Rama one half and in, in Yasha. Okay. Um, well, I was just, I mean, I've uh, been working in film and television since 87, because I'm super old. <laughs> For those of you who do in the math, no black stallion? that's 29 yeah. years ago. And uh, so, uh, you know, I've been doing that stuff for a while. And just auditioning, and people would send me out for, you know, voice audition stuff. And the first thing I booked was uh, 93, when I actually had come home from shooting overseas on Black Stallion. And, uh, and I booked this show called Bots Master, which was a prelay show, first thing I ever booked, and did a, you know, a season of that, and that was a good time. And you know, it was my first introduction to voice stuff, and so then I started getting more and more auditions, and then finally, I get this audition to replace Sarah Strange on uh, Ranma One Half, because she decided she didn't want to do it anymore. And uh, it was in the middle of a shooting Breaker High, which was a, a UPN show years ago that Ryan Gosling was on, and. Uh, Tyler Bean and all them. Clearly, I'm on the same trajectory um, <laughs> as, as Ryan, and um, yeah, and it was just, it was, it just, the voice just happened to fit, just happened to work, just sort of, you know, it went uh, into the good place there. We finished off the remaining whatever it was, six seasons or what have you, uh, and just as we were coming to the end of that, Toshi Yoshida, who is the um, Producer, the Ameri well, the, uh, the producer for the American or the, the English dub of it said, "Hey, we got this new show. Same creator, same studio, same deal, basically. Uh, different show, different idea, but this is the character. He's really cool, and we're going to be doing auditions for it." I'm like, "I love this guy. I want to. Uh, I want to be this guy." Well, for Miko Takahashi. Yeah, exactly. And so. Um, I, but I auditioned just like anybody else. The, he said he had a lot of really great submissions, had a lot of really great auditions. A lot of good guys were up in the running, but it just happened to go my way. Uh, and you know, um, it just also ha so happened that um, uh, Kappa Yamaguchi, who did Ron Moen Half Male, also was Inuyasha as well. So I think you know that might have trying to be my favorite. I don't know, but it was the same Japanese voice actor. So I guess you know, keeping the same English voice. Actor. Yeah. The female version of Inuyasha. I'm excuse me, uh, Rama One Half. Yeah. Uh, you did both male and female. No, I'm not female. that good. I'm good, <laughs> <laughs> but I ain't that good. Uh, no, that was Venus Terzo. Yeah. You sir, and then you. Yes. Um, both of you guys. Mm -hmm. um, as you guys get more roles and you 
have more of these personalities, more of these characters that you brought to life. Um, when you're going into a new voice, um, do you guys ever, like when you start with a voice, do you have to start with like a trigger word or like a trigger sound to get you into that voice? And then eventually you kind of like wean that out and it can become like a muscle reaction you just go through in your throat? Or do you go, or you stick with those triggers for a while and you start those at the beginning of your recording session? I found with accents, uh, sometimes I need a, to, to, and a great trigger, something I can sort of get to get to get into it, you know. Um, not so much with the voice, but if it's, if it's an accent, I'm trying to really sound like authentic with the accent. Well, I'll have a few trigger sentences that I'll say and they'll kind of get me into it. But, yeah, not so much with the voice. Yeah, no, I, I mean, like, uh, it depends on the voice and it depends on the show. Like, sometimes if it's uh, something I don't do a lot, like if it's, you know, a, a secondary character in a show and it's like I gotta go back and redo him, uh, bless you. Bless um, and make sure you close your eyes or otherwise your eyeballs will pop up. Um, and uh, so yeah, uh, some of those, I'll just sort of make sure that I'm kind of, you know, going over it, making sure I'm in the right wheelhouse. But any kind of like lead character, you, you get used to it. I only do three voices. They're just all variations on the same, <laughs> on the same theme. <clears throat> yes? Um, what would your dream role be in any movie? Oh. Yeah, Jason Bourne would be pretty wicked. Um, I'm not gonna lie, uh, you know, um, Michael Corleone. <laughs> uh, like something that's already played a dream role, or like um. Now, if they're gonna remake something, like, oh. like they reboot, oh, that's a lot of things. Challenges are are great. You know, you want to you want to play. You like to. We do a lot of stuff where it's like, okay, here's your son, come and say these words, and it's, you know, there's not a lot to it, but when you're given a challenge, um, mm. you know, to play um, generally characters that are broken or afflicted in some way, and, um, or, you know, if they, if they um, I had to do, I did a pilot called High Moon where I had to learn Russian, and I had to learn 76 lines in Russian, and it was very hard, because the original teacher kept yelling at me, <laughs> oh, Lunye, Lunye, like, okay. Yeah. Well, that's what they do. Yeah, kind of a thing, like us saying sorry. Uh, I want to do an all-me version of Ghostbusters 2. That'd be awesome. Is that with the gatekeeper and the keymaster? <laughs> right. <laughs> everybody. I'm everybody. I'm the gatekeeper and the keymaster. <laughs> yes. And then Sir with the yellow and then back to Miss Bride. Um, my question is for Richard. Uh -huh. um, I follow you on Tumblr and I think your Tumblr is hilarious. Oh, thank you. But yes. sometimes the questions that you get oh, I know. are pretty weird. I know. What, <laughs> what is the weirdest thing someone has ever asked you? I don't know. I mean, like, there's some stuff, most things I answer just because it's funny. Um, and I like to sort of BS. Um, I, I would say, I would suggest that 80% of things that I say in terms of answering are mostly just me. Well, you know, it's mostly just me making crap up <laughs> most of the answers. Um, but, uh, like, the super weird stuff, I kind of don't answer. Like, it's why like, is everybody obsessed with asking you questions? Like, you get that a lot. I know. And, and I start following you. And trust me when I tell you, I honestly don't know. And I would suspect it's probably, like, one person. <laughs> no, not one person. I, I, I wonder, what, what is Tumblr? Oh, it's a blogging oh. site. Oh. It's basically like Twitter for pictures. And like really, really, there's two sides to Tumblr. There's three sides to Tumblr. There's like, there's like the fandoms, which are like Supernatural, Sherlock. Yes. blah diddy blue diddy blah diddy Then there's the emo Tumblr. Where it's just really sad gifs slash gifs of like a bird flying with like words never put off today which you can cry about tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's porn. <laughs> Those are the three ends of Tumblr. That's it. <laughs> Download yeah. Tumblr. You know what's interesting?
interesting though is that I'm, I wasn't ever really that interested in it, right? Like, but in terms of like response and connectivity, like people talking and people wanting to reach out, um, I get more people wanting, like more young people, more fan, like young fans wanting to reach out on Tumblr than on anything else. Uh, which is kind of interesting to me. Like, I, you know, like I have a Facebook fan page and it's got like, I don't know, 4,000 people on that one and like Twitter, a similar number. And Tumblr's like a, less, but way more activity because people just like to, which is cool, I like that, you know? And for all of the, like the BS stuff and all of like the silly stuff, which I swear to God, it's just somebody's idea of a practical <laughs> joke. Um, which is the only reason that I answer them. Because if I thought for a second that anyone was being serious about anything, I'd be like, no. Um, and get your mom to stop asking me, too. Um, <laughs> I think my mom might have asked <laughs> Probably. No. Yeah. Uh, but there's also a lot of like people who sort of like are reaching out, right? Like, you know, which is kind of a, which is kind of a good thing, you know, uh, as well. But yeah, it's, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But, you know, I, I don't have an, any, I don't know. That's my answer. I, 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 a, a blustery, I don't know. Cool. Where, oh, yellow vest, the bride, twin one, and Joni, with two ends. Um, when you were getting into acting or growing up, did you guys have a certain actor that you looked up to that like kind of made you want to, like, I want to do what they do? I'm like 5'7", dude. I look up to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, way to bring us down. Yeah, yeah. Oh, come on. Right. Um, uh, no, I, 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 I no, never, I never, screw them all. I never ever thought I was going to be an actor or pursue acting. I was going to be a lawyer, and I was. Oh, me too. Going to go, but then I realized I got accidentally signed up for a theater program, and then. Luckily, we realized I like the dramatics of law shows. <laughs> right. I, there's a lot of reading involved in being a lawyer. It doesn't work for me. Um, um, but Briefs were not what you thought they were. No. No. Um, there, there's certain actors that, you know, just whenever they do certain roles that were fabulous, um, there's, yeah, I, I look up to a lot of actors for their performances and what they've done and uh. doing accents. And some I've looked at and go, okay, hey, what not to do? Remember that. <laughs> Don't do that. Whoa, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would say the same thing, that it's more or less performances rather than people. You know, like, the, uh, that's the main thing. It's the performance over the, over the people kind of thing. All right, Ms. Bride. Yes, sir. You guys got shafted in the last one, so you have your question ready to go. Yeah, he's like, yeah, sure. If you're good, well, I'll take one. <laughs> we got 10 minutes left, so we'll have to, like, in another five, we'll go to a speed round, and it'll be wicked. I was young and I needed the money. Next. <laughs> <laughs> um, for someone who is aspiring to become an actress, um, actor. We call everyone an actor now. Woman? Yeah. Woman. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I know. You're still an actor. Yeah. Wait, next. Anyway, uh, what to do? Everyone's a builder. There's not a build dress. <laughs> Man, she's a really good buildress. <laughs> Sorry, what did you say? <laughs> buildress. You know. That's my question for you. For tips and for you. Um, yeah. If you could be in more a more mainstreamy kind of anime, like say Naruto or Soul Eater or One Piece or. Whatever. Sorry, are you trying to indicate that Inuyasha was not mainstream? <laughs> Naruto because it got so boring and mainstream. I, I went back right. to Inuyasha. This is friggin' bulletproof headband. Whatever <laughs> <laughs> that is. Okay, so, yeah. It's just a guy that kept walking into corners. <laughs> Damn, I think I got to put something on here. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, for, first, first part of that nine part question. Um, uh, acting classes. Um, go to theater school. Um, learn to act. Very important. Especially, a lot of people go, I want to be a voice actor. I'm like, okay, so you got to you know, learn how to act. Oh, really? <laughs> it's, it's a very important part of the, of the game. So. I already know how to act. My, my mom wants me to get a new situation. It's disappointing when I die. Yeah, my mom wanted me to get one of those two. It doesn't mean you can act. Uh, <laughs> 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 it's, uh, it's, it's a difficult world. It's a difficult life. It, um, yeah. You know, it, there's a lot of rejection. Um, so it's, uh, you got to have a thick skin. 
And uh, like an actress just recently, uh, we were both working on a thing together. She's like, I totally auditioned for this show, and then they came back that and said uh, that I wasn't right for it. So I'm like, so I'm trying to find out what that means. I'm like, why do you want to know? Just take you were right for it. What do you want them to say? Something specific, like you know, your eyes are too close together. You know, something that's gonna give you a neurosis. Like, just take you, you were right for it. Move on. You know, uh, she wouldn't let it go. She's like, no, no, I've got my agent getting months contact the cast director, I'm going to find out exactly what they mean by that, because I think I'm perfect. Well, you're up for a lot of disappointment in life. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You got to be tough. Like, in all honesty, like, there's an there's that idea, right? Like, and I think a lot of first-year theater students have it, which is that every we just sit around hugging each other and talking about our feelings, which is great, and there are some actors that are like that, and that's awesome. But, uh, you know, I kind of always took it as this sort of blue-collar thing. Uh, that, a, that a journeyman actor, actress, buildress, um, <laughs> that if you are a day player, in other words, you're not a star, it's easy to be famous. Easy to be famous. There are other things that come along with being famous that suck. Okay. No privacy, you know, whatever it is, what, dr drug and alcohol problems, all kinds of crap that come along with it. But the getting a job when you're famous part, that's easy. Doing it as a day player, doing it as an actor who has to go in and audition and schlep and hustle, that's hard and that takes, that takes some serious uh, spine, right? And, and it, it is no different than being a blue collar, work a day, you know, bust your ass for a dollar kind of person because that is what it takes. It, and, and just as Kirby says, it is not easy. It's not for the faint of heart. Lots of people say they want to do something because it seems glamorous and it seems like fun. But I'm telling you, it's not just about the glamour. And it will, if you're doing it right, it's going to like, you know, cause you to question all kinds of elements about yourself and yeah. all of this kind of weird ass crap and you just you have to be tough enough to be able to to make it through all of to make it through all of that kind of stuff so um, yeah I mean go and be an actor first right then it is interesting there are a lot of people that say they want to be voice actors and I'm kind of interested by that idea that they want to specialize that specifically I think you need to be an actor first and then maybe if you can determine oh yeah that would be fun to go I, I want to focus on that but I would say focus on that after you have done it all, right? Uh, because to say I just want to be a voice actor, to me, always kind of feels like you kind of go, I want to play football, but I only want to punt. I don't want to learn anything else. I don't want to know about downs. Just let me kick the freaking ball. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, but I think you kind of have to, you know, learn the other stuff too. Yeah. All right, speed round. Yes, sir. <laughs> Sorry, you in the back. Yes, sir. Oh, me? No, nope, the one behind you. <laughs> and then you. Yes. Uh, what's your guys' okay, top yes. two favorite TV shows? Top two favorite TV shows? Oh, good Lord. I don't watch enough TV. Uh, IT Crowd, I think, is friggin' hilarious. And uh, Modern Family, in terms of a comedy, hilarious. The Old West Wing. Uh, was awesome before Great. What's His Nuts left, and then it became this weird. <laughs> I haven't got that far. Like the the creator. I'm a Oh, I love season two. Oh my god, it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, Game of Thrones. Uh, new show, David Duchovny, uh, called Aquarius. is awesome. And I'm watching Stranger Things right now. Yeah, which yeah. Is awesome. Here's good things. Uh, yeah. Yes. Sorry, yeah, twin one. You were supposed to go and so is Joey. <laughs> okay, go. What's the weirdest thing that's ever happened to you at a convention? We got drunk. That wasn't that weird. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. No, weird things don't really happen to me. I have angry resting face, and so people just leave me alone. <laughs> oh, and I do. This is happy face. This is me on a panel face. You should see the angry resting face when I walk through a crowd. Um, yeah. Um, I had a... You have a lot of weird crap yeah. happening. I had, I had a girlfriend convince the uh, front desk person that she should be in my room. Uh, <gasps> so they opened the door for her. That was oh my God. Oh. weird. <laughs> That's not cool. That's not cool. That's um, not cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> a lot of glomps. Glomp, glomp. Not glomp. a glompy person. Yeah. Joni. Um, this question's for both of you guys. Uh huh. Which one was your favorite in the National League? Which one was your favorite? Uh, yeah, that was mine too. <laughs> <laughs> Don't answer least favorite. that question. Least favorite? <laughs> Oh, I love them all too. Yeah. <laughs> yes? 
Yes. Okay. Like on any Astra, other than like your characters you guys play, what's your other favorite characters? On any Astra? Yeah. Buyo. <laughs> Kagome's cat. Who oh. is also me. <laughs> yeah, I killed that. I mean, I didn't kill the cat. The cat's fine. The animated cat is fine. Who's your other favorite character? I kind of made it dated Chippo for a while. Oh, did you? That's hilarious. You shipped Chippo. <laughs> Go. Yeah. How do you maintain and or warm up your voice? I do this. <laughs> that really helps. Yeah. Uh, I do vocal warm ups pretty much every day, driving in my car. No. <laughs> There's people look at me and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Is this because you have a hybrid and you want to let people know you're coming? Yeah. <laughs> I warm up by yelling at my kids. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Uh, for both kids, what was your favorite part about being Hammer pants. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, my great big sucko. <laughs> yes. Yeah. One more question. Yeah. One more. Yes. Go me or Pikio. Oh. Let me tell you why. Because Kagome is a reincarnation of Kikyo and they have the same soul, so effectively there's the same person. Yeah, that's true. Boom. Got it. All right.